Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan here with uh, with a new series. This is the Penumbra Overture series. Um, this is episode one, and just let's just get into it. Oops, god damn it! I wanted to click normal. Your story? What's your story, buddy? I'm not gonna make the same mistakes my father made. I would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mom's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. Is that possible? His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped. Linguistics. The, the book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Hmm. Okay. Jack Daniels. That was an accident. Oops. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer. Why do you have a torch, bro? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, this is a torch. Key. Take that shit and take that shit. Is there anything? Get. Chair. Chair. Get out of the way. I don't think you're of any use to me. More beer! I mean, wow. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation, orientation spirit for, or spirit first, but I lost the feeling of extremity soon after, and I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Huh. I'm in the cold! I want this. A rock? No shit, a rock. Wow, my character is a pussy. Oh! What did I do? What? What? Oh. Oops! Was I supposed to go down here? I better have been.
pipe. I don't care. All right, lag, yeah. Okay. Is there anything in the barrel? Glad I didn't witness that. Okay, buddy, you're in the way. That's... Oh! Ow, my face. Okay, can you not trip out? Yay! What does this do? Okay. Whatever I was descending into, it was 100 feet below ground, protecting, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I've never given much thought to it before, but I, reali I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services, and at the end of the phone line. Health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure will to prevent all but the most mun oh, mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. I know anyone that might help me friends parent friends parents teachers were too scared or too far away that was a long paragraph There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against something down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me a chance to hide in the shadows. I know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be, quiet enough, uh, should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. YOLO. What did I have to hide? There's absolutely nothing down here. Locked. Lighter. None of these open. Somebody's whispering. Bongos! There's rocks in this crate. I bet you it has something to do with the crate because the rocks are in it. Okay. Met ooh, painkillers. Oh, I broke it. What the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Probably not. Move, Vox. Show me your secrets. See, I fucking told you. I knew it. Wait, is there any way to get back up now? Oh, shit. I didn't even think of that.
That was a huge fucking spider. Get out of the way. Oh, good. Wait, can I use the ladder to get back up? Come here. Yeah! Brilliance in its simplest form. A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified, or else the smell would be awful. I don't care about notes. is this all right can't open it so let's just take the lock out of tap there you go yay I got lighter fluid I don't know what that's used for but yay Oh no! I wasn't paying attention. Oh wow, it, it, it hurts. I'm losing blood, but I should be all right. I mean, you should be all right. Ow! Huh. Too bad for me, huh? Deal with it. No, I don't want mommy dog. Oh my god. Wait, what? You feel that? I kind of... Oh my god. I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. My name is Ryan, and I will talk to you all later. See ya!